Welcome to twoquestions.tv. My guest today is Ryan Cote, and we're talking about multi-generational family businesses. Welcome to twoquestions.tv. I'm Susan Barancini Mo. My guest today is Ryan Cote, the Director of Digital Services and Partner at Ballantyne, a third-generation family-owned direct mail and digital marketing company based out of Fairfield, New Jersey. With Ballantyne since 2003, a family-owned business started in 1966 by his grandfather and great uncle. Ryan now manages the growing digital marketing division. Hi, Ryan. Welcome to the show. Hi, Susan. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Well, I think multi-generational family businesses are super interesting. So your grandfather and his brother started the company. Was that your mom or dad's dad? So my dad's dad. And actually, my, so my grandfather's brother, um, I guess that's my great uncle, he started the company in, in 66. And then my oh. grandfather came on board in 68. So, but I just say they started it together because it's easier than explaining that timeline. But that's, that's basically how it started. My great, great, great uncle started in 66. And my grandfather started in 68. Joined yeah. in 68. Did your parents work for the company as well? Uh, my dad did. Yeah, he joined in 78 and he actually just retired in December. And that's uh -huh. when myself and my two brothers moved into uh, ownership with my uncle. Uh, my uncle joined in 84. So it was sort of like a staged. Yeah. Staged yeah. No, that's interesting. So, so did you know, did you and your brothers all work for the company? Yes. Did do you have any siblings that didn't want to work for the company? So I only have two brothers um, and okay. they're both in the business, but honestly, so I did not know I was going to be in the business. I, I had a couple of marketing roles outside of college. Uh, my middle brother, Matt knew he wanted to be in the business. Now when we started, it was printing. Now it's printing and digital. Yeah. And so my brother knew he wanted to be on the printing side, kind of like follow my dad's footsteps. Sure. So he went, he went to RIT, which is a, uh, heavy printing and you know, print management school, print mm -hmm. production school. Sure. And so Matt knew he wanted to go into the business. My youngest brother, Scott, actually joined in 2014, and he had a, uh, a position in Boston uh, doing operations and, and finance for a very big travel company. And so he he definitely didn't have plans, and he I guess over time he changed his mind. But mm -hmm. um, So we've all, you know, myself and, and Scott did not know we were going to come to the business. My brother Matt did. I actually think that's fantastic because if you, especially if you have, you know, a generation where there are people who don't know for sure, it's for them to go out and do their thing and make their mark yeah. and then come back is, a, I think, a good thing. Now, do you, you said you have children before yeah. when we were talking. Yeah. Do you have plans for your kids? Do you want your kids to work in the family business or are you leaving it up to them? Uh, definitely leaving it up to them <clears throat> if it's if it if it makes sense if it, if if it's something that they're interested in, mm -hmm. sure, I love that. I mean, they're very young; they're only three, five, and seven. So oh, they have time. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but my um <clears throat> my my uncle John, he's got three kids, and uh, none of them are in the business yet. His oldest son Josh, it seems like he might want to come into the business doing sales, but he's he's uh, he's on his second sales job right now, just getting experience. Um, yeah before he comes to the company, if he does, in fact. So it's, you know, for my kids and for my brother's kids, I'm sure it's up to them. You know, it's really, it's what, what is a good fit for the company, but also what's a good fit for them. If it makes sense on both ends, and then yeah, I'd yeah. love to have them. That's great. That's super wise. So what advice do you have for people who are growing up in a family business and for parents raising kids in the context of a family business? So, so our business, our family business works very well, <clears throat> but I know there's many cases where it does not work very well. So I think what helps us is that we all have, so myself, my two brothers, and my uncle, um, even my dad when he was here last year, we all had clearly defined roles. First of all, yeah. we're all very respectful to each other. You know, we'll, we'll have, not arguments, but we'll have conversations where we don't always agree, but there's, we're all very respectful, and there's clear defined roles, like I handle this, Scott handles this, Matt, John, we all have our clearly defined roles. And so I think that really helps a lot with just um, keeping the business running smoothly. We also all have very different strengths and weaknesses, and we're in positions that takes advantage of the strengths and weaknesses. So I think the three, those three things combined, uh, if you can get those right, it, it helps. I mean, we're 53 years old now, and it's worked for us. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's one of the hallmarks of, of businesses that last – through many generations is, is those, those characteristics are really critically important. Yeah, absolutely. 
I've gone rogue a little bit and asked you more than two questions. Okay. I'm going to ask you another one. <laughs> okay. right. I hope I have a good answer. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, really, it, it's not a particularly well-formed question because it's really off the top of my head. But, but, but it occurs to me that part of, of wise multi-generational family business planning includes exit and succession planning. And so I'm curious how you've handled that in the family because when someone when something happens to someone really bad things can happen to a business if the proper planning hasn't been done so yeah. have you done a lot of that and is that in the works or is that something that's been in place for a long time yeah we have we definitely have so like for my father for example when he retired he did like a phased approach so it yeah. wasn't just like one day he's out and see you he was really, you know, I think it started maybe like three or four years ago. He went from five days to four days to three days to two days. And while he was kind of backing out, my brother Scott, who's more operationally minded, he was starting to take over more of the responsibilities that my dad was handling. And so by the time my dad, you know, his last day, there was no rocky transition. It already started kind of in a phased approach. Um, so that's, I think that's really key for First of all, you hear about companies having businesses where the father can't let go and they keep on coming back. And, you <laughs> yes. know, I thought for sure my dad was going to be one of those, just to be honest, because he's been in the business for so long, it's all he's known. But I think that phased approach really helped him kind of just ease off, ease out of the company. Absolutely. It's, it's worked really well for us. Yeah. Well, that's really exciting to hear. I mean, there are so many businesses that, as I'm sure you know, there's so many, like, three quarters of all business owners don't bother with exit and succession. Like really, why, <laughs> yeah. why are you doing that? So it's really, it's exciting to know that, you know, your company is, and, and hopefully there are others out there who are as well. Ryan, where can folks find you? Um, if you go to uh, ballantine.com forward slash two questions, we set up a special page for your uh, listeners. That's the number two, two questions. Um, it's a landing page where there's a, we have a couple of offers, like a free digital marketing analysis where, We'll okay. take a look at your website via video and just do a free analysis. So if you go to valentine.com forward slash two questions, the number two. Oh, wonderful. We'll have that in the links for the show notes as well. Great. Would you like to join me for the after show? Absolutely. Yay. Okay. All right. Viewers, if you would like to join us for the after show, Ryan and I are going over to two questions.tv. It's the only place you can find the after show. So if you want to see it, you have to go over there. Okay. We will see you over there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks everyone.